Hello everyone and welcome back. First of all, I want to thank you for all the feedback you sent me for the previous widget. It means a lot to me to know that what I'm creating is really useful to you guys. So make sure you keep on commenting. Now let me show you what we're going to create this time. These beautiful pricing tables. And the first thing you need to do is to head over to this website. There's a link in the description below. And it's a step-by-step -step tutorial, so you can learn how to make this from scratch. Yes, from scratch. If you have difficulties with it, or if you don't have time to do it, there's a free sample pack. You can download it for free. Or, uh, there's also a bundle pack. Uh, it took me a long time to make this, so I'm also selling a bundle pack that comes with 13 widgets, so buy it if you can afford it. It comes with a 50% discount for the first 50 at $4.99 and includes all the updates and all the next pricing tables that I'm going to make. Now let's head into Muse and I'm gonna show you some tricks that will help you out greatly using this widget. So let's head into the library panel and I'm gonna drag a variation of the widget out. And as you can see, it comes in the pinkish color scheme. Well, let's say you don't want to use this color scheme. You want some other colors. You want the colors that your website has. You want to match the widget to your website. And editing these by hand will take too long. So there's a great trick to do this. When you drag the widget in, some new swatches will appear in your swatches panel. And these swatches, oh, sorry about that. These swatches are actually linked to the widget. So if you change one swatch color here, every color that is linked to that swatch will change inside the widget. So let me show you. Let's change this to darker color. That's the pink color, something bluish. Like that. Oh, and as you can see, it's changed. Let's see, change the background, something like this, some light purple and the white that comes, that's the text and let's change this to a very very dark blue let's preview it and okay, let's wait a little bit I don't know why it's loading this so much hmm, okay, okay so, as you can see with a few clicks, you can change it entirely. Look at these, they are beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? The second thing I want to show you guys is how to edit the text correctly. Uh, usually what you do is you select your composition, your target window, your state button, and your text frame. Double click your text frame so you can select your text. Now, that's six clicks. And you don't want to do that because one, it takes too long, and second, quite often what happens is uh, while doing all those selections, uh, some elements uh, get moved around by one pixel, by two pixels, and you don't even notice it. Uh, when you notice it, it's too late. That's when your client is telling you that you did a really crappy job and you didn't make his website pixel perfect. And that wasn't your intention. So, what you want to do is uh, select your text tool every time you want to edit some text inside Muse. And with one click, you can have access to any text. It doesn't matter in how many compositions inside the text is. So, let's rename this to tier 1. And now, you edited some parts in the target window, but you will also need to edit the parts in the trigger window. And the same principle applies. Don't move the target window around. Instead, what you want to do is just uncheck the show light box parts while editing, and you have access to the trigger window. Let's change this to tier 1 as well. <clears throat> the third thing I want to show you is that if your client is using in-browser editing and wants to edit um, the pricing tables, well, uh, 
He can edit the target part, but he won't have access to the trigger window because the target is on top of it. So what you need to do is tell him, look, I'm going to change everything to show on click so you can edit it. And when you're done, just tell me and I'm going to sync and re-upload everything. And I'm going to change everything back on rollover so it will work exactly as intended. I hope you guys liked the tutorial. If you really loved it, uh, press the like button below. If you want to use the widget, go to this website and download it for free or buy the whole pack. It's only $4.99. I think it's the cheapest widget out there. It would really help me out greatly. If you have any questions about the widget or about the website, how I made stuff, just leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer it. I'm also working on new widgets, so make sure you subscribe to uh, my channel, uh, because with every video there will be a free download. So until next time, see you!